So the new version of RenPy 8.1 now has support for HTML5 exports again. This is great. I've been waiting for this and uh, pretty excited to see that this came down the line. I originally saw it announced over here on RenPy Tom's Patreon page, and he talks about it uh, down here somewhere. He talks about web platform export. And if you read through this a bit, it kind of goes on to the idea that, that it sounds like they rebuilt most of this to be a progressive web app, which means it's going to play a lot nicer. And my experimentation of this so far is that it actually does. And it loads really well on uh, Brave Browser, Chrome. didn't load on Brave before, but now it loads on Brave, Chrome. Uh, I tested on Safari. I tested on Firefox. Uh, I even had my buddy test on his Android tablet and my... Um, my iOS phone and my iPad load the games as well now, which it didn't do that at all before. It would just kind of hang. Now it takes about a minute to load the demo, but it does load. <clears throat> so that's an awesome win for RenPy. So how do you get it running? We'll step through that pretty quick here. Um, basically, you download the new version of RenPy, which can be found here. And uh, from here, you decide what you're going to use, Windows, Mac, or Linux. In our case, we're going to use Linux today. And uh, I'll just install this to my desktop. You can see I've got the file here. I'll write over that. And we download the file fresh. And from here, we'll go ahead and unzip that file. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a pretty similar workflow for whatever operating system you're using. And uh, let's see, where's that file at that we just downloaded? There it is, RunPy. So we'll extract here. So then that creates a folder on my desktop here called RenPy that I'm going to actually use terminally get to. So go to the desktop and the new RenPy folder. And from here, we're going to launch RenPy. So to do that, you have to go into the launcher. Do, 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 do. Launcher. And then um, that's not correct. Let's go back out of there. There it is dot slash renpy dot sh normally if you're on windows or mac you double click the icon this is one way to do it so once you're here the new option you just verify that you're seeing uh renpy 8.1 and then start out with the tutorial project in my case just to make sure like the default stock stuff works but you could use your game for this so here's the tutorial that comes with the game and so you want to go ahead and click on the web beta uh, build option over here and the first time you do this it's going to ask you to download these packages just to make sure that it runs properly click that let it install and done like that so from there you can hit this proceed button and red pile basically reboot itself and it's back so with that installed you can now proceed with the business of clicking web beta again and now it's going to ask you how you want to build this. So if you're going to build this just to test it, you can build and open in the browser or you can build as a web application. So first I'll build it in the browser just to show it locally so you could test this way. And ultimately we'll move this right to itch.io and uh, show you how that works. End to end. Make sure there's, uh, you know, no, no things that I'm forgetting in the process here. Okay, so this is the local version. This is running in Firefox. Um, Downhill it can't upload this. More information may be available in the console log. That I actually didn't expect to see. So looking at the log itself, you can see that it throws a little bit of issues down here, but ultimately this thing loaded. I wonder if that's relative to Firefox. So we'll hit start. And you can see this is the HTML5 version of this. It could be that this particular demo, sorry about the music there. Let me get out of here for a second. It could be that this particular build itself, um, the, the game, let's get out of here for a second. Go back into RenPy. I'm going to stop this over here and load this up over here. So relaunch RenPy. I have a feeling that the issue there was that this tutorial itself is probably not updated fully yet. That's just a working theory. So let's try the question and we're going to build that and see if we get any kind of errors over here in our log, right? So 
web build. We're going to build it and open it locally. And then over here in the browser, we're just going to see, in the terminal to see if it spams any kind of errors. Okay, now in this case, we can see these errors are flying by over here with the exception uh, handling the request webhook. Some of this might just because it's trying to run on a local, but what I do see up here is that this script is now loading much faster. I think this is a much faster load time there. So you can come into here and you can see this loads up. So that's step one is make sure this thing loads locally for you. Step two is package it for the web. So we'll get into that right here. So when that works, uh, this, I wouldn't worry about that right now. Over here, you build web application. So if you click that button, what that's gonna do is take all those files and put them into a zip file. And we're gonna take that zip file and use it for itch.io. So it's already done. If you press this button here, open build directory, it'll jump to the folder with the zip file. So that can be helpful so you don't have to dig around. You're just looking for this games.zip games file. So with this, we can upload it to itch.io. And I'll load up my account here itch.io and we'll do an install real quick call it yep that's me and there we go so let's do a new project and we'll call this one test renpy html5 and we'll call it 81 basically leave all that blank and over here, find the kind of project and flip this to HTML. That's going to be the right template to load your game. Down here, where it gets you upload the file, click upload. And then note the path to this thing. Mine's in the RenPy folder, and it created a directory in the RenPy folder called the questions 7.0.dists. And then in that, we're looking for the questions 7.0 web and the zip file. So that's the path to it. So we'll dig that path. So we're on the desktop and then from the desktop it's into renpy and then from renpy we're going into the question dist and then from the question dist into that folder and then finally there's our game zip file so let's open that this will upload to renpy uh itch.io <laughs> pretty quickly okay so when that's uploaded you want to hit this checkbox that says this file will be played in the browser now you can mess with the viewport dimensions at another time. Right now we're gonna keep the default, but you can set this to what you want. Uh, another thing you can check to is the full screen button down here to make sure people can make it large. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as the very base configuration. The rest you can customize to your preferences. And I'll keep it on draft mode too, just so I can take a look at it without publishing it. So here we are on the page that your players are gonna see. And it's loading it for the first time, which takes a little bit of time just for some context over here. I'm loading up the Chrome uh, debugger. This has a problem with loading index.html. So please try deleting the zip file. If we go into the zip file itself and we look at this, we can see that there's not an index file. So you might be asking yourself like, well, what's the deal? How come, why do this? <laughs> so to fix that, you wanna come in here, make sure the game.zip is checked. Um, and then from here, Got a file played in the browser, HTML's checked. Doo, doo, doo. I actually think it should work from here. Let me just uncheck that for fun and save it. And let's take a look. Let's reload this. So for some reason, this index.html file is missing from this web distribution. So if we come in here and look at this zip file and scroll down, we can see that this one actually contains an HTML file. And that's probably what it wants. So in this case, we're going into the RenPy default folder and we're going into the, the questions disk folder and not going through to web, but we're gonna use this file right here instead. So if you back this up and delete this file and upload. So we step one more back and we're gonna try this zip file. So this is the first zip file in the directory structure. It contains the index file. And so that index file acts like a template for the game when it loads up in that space there. And itch.io kind of wants those files. So once we upload this, we can save this and give it a test run. And this should load uh, correctly this time.
I mean, the beauty of this is you can fast forward this kind of stuff, you know. And uh, sometimes getting these errors is good so you can document it because, you know, you hit these exotic problems occasionally and you're, you're willing to win. Like, well, the tutorial went so well, you know, it doesn't always go smooth the first time. So we've uploaded the file. We verified that it has the HTML in it. We're going to hit that player button again. We're going to hit save. And uh, we'll see what we get out of this. We'll go to view the page. Okay, so now it's trying to load it for the first time again. It's going to look for that index file, and it finds the index file this time. So with that in place, we can run the game. Over here in the Chrome extensions, you can see there's a little bit of issues going on with some of these services. But ultimately, things are running pretty good. It's loading the script. This is further than the old version was going to get. And uh, yeah, let's let that go. Ah, here we are. So now we can play the game click through into the question and this is running pretty good um, I want to point out one thing too if you reload this the second time you go to play it it's gonna load a lot faster the other thing too that's new with this that I think is really nice is this menu is here optionally and you can now import saves and export saves I'm not 100% if this was in the old one but I've noticed it in this one for sure uh, you can also download a log of the game which is interesting so uh, in this case, you can export your save game files locally so that you can then later import that file. And now your players can have like a much easier consistent experience. I was also reading this as a progressive web app. So perhaps there's more options here that I'm unaware of. But that's generally how you do this. Um, so the whole process was download the new version of it, um, let it run the installer, export it, use the correct zip file. I guess that was one of the learning lessons out of this is to make sure you hit the right zip file with that right over here and if you go into the zip you're kind of looking to make sure see this one is it's the wrong one because it doesn't have the index in it over here if you look at the first zip file after stepping out of the renpy folder into the build file the first zip file if you double click into that you can see that has this index and it's got the game.zip file so that's the one you want you load that into itch and you're good to go um, and if it doesn't load, just double check and make sure you've checked those boxes about loading it as a HTML5 game, which I'll just point out again real quick is uh, here, the kind of project. And then you check that box too. I forgot to do that a bunch of times, so we'll go ahead and point that out. All right, that's it. That's the whole thing, A to Z. Uh, this is really cool, and it's nice that it now starts to play on, on these like mobile applications. I mean, these mobile desktops, uh, iOS and Android, because playing this on an iPad or playing this on Android app seems pretty cool. Uh, it did take a little bit to load. Maybe that'll speed up, but I think it's a, a heck of a good step in the right direction. All right. Thanks a lot. Hopefully this helped you out. And where's the stop button? <laughs> I'm getting back into this. Please bear with me. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. See ya.